Hey, it's Matt with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it is Thursday. It's March 29th. This will be our chart lesson for the day, and uh, tomorrow is Good Friday, so the markets are closed. No midday chart on the website, no YouTube chart lesson, but I'm not doing the YouTube lessons on Friday anyway, so no chart reviews on Fridays. Uh, one day I may start them back, but um, I really need... Uh, a break four a week is uh, really my breaking point at this point so I'm trying to do four a week and um, not do them on Fridays anymore so that's the deal there if you're wondering why there's none on Friday if you're new or whatever but um, looks like we will be trading Monday so we'll be back Monday to do this again but nothing tomorrow I hope everybody enjoys the extended weekend I always like these extended weekends this one's not as important to me as usual because I already had a week and a half off or so but um, give me a chance to spend some extra time at home with my wife while she's still recuperating. But nice trading day today. It's all uphill, really. We moved up, little correction, moved up, little correction, and moved up. So we got three really three legs up. The, once we had this little correction here and started going higher again, measure this leg. You can see if you measure that leg and then just start really from the low point. It's probably right there and you see we got a perfect measured move to the tick and so that would have given you your target to look for our minimum target and that one was right on the money but uh, let's back out we'll talk about the trades and go from there it was a little slow early on there just weren't really a lot of opportunities early on this one right here I, I went back and forth about it. I'm not gonna mark it we'll talk about it when we get to it um, there's really a little range right there and you could treat that like a failed break lower because we already had a break and a new low and then we just started going sideways there and there's actually a little failed second entry short there but you got to go long right into that double top really triple top there and the market had been trading down so there was a little bit of a slight we down bias at this point so i didn't feel comfortable with that one and that was really why i still didn't like this one we really traded down here. Uh, we, we actually traded up a little bit into that trading range. Generally, you're going to, if you're going to have a successful breakout, it's going to be in the same direction you traded into it. So you might expect another little short term leg like that one. So that might give you a little inclination to go long right there. But I'm really just wasn't crazy about it because we've been trading down and the bias was still slightly down there. But you could probably argue for that one to be green, but um, I didn't mean to jump these other two trades, but I just was had been thinking about that one. And so since I didn't mark it, I thought we'd talk about it. But anyway, let's talk about the trades. First one I saw this morning, we were trading up when I came in. We had a little, we were actually correcting when I came in and we had a bounce. There's a first entry short, another move up a second entry short. It fails, gives you a fairly bullish bar as well. And that's also a second entry long. Technically, it's not a second entry long because your other pullback was there and you got that little double top matching high. But we finally really made a lower high here. So you could still treat that like a second entry long plus a failed second entry short. Notice the new low. You're going up first entry short and you go higher again, second entry short. So I like going long. That's been working. You actually get another little second entry short here. Notice that low is lower than that one. It tries to go short lower once, twice, and fails. So you probably say, why didn't you mark that one? Again, it's right into a bunch of resistance there. And this is really just a little trading range. So I'm always leery about those. So I didn't mark that one. Uh, if you, you should have already been in right here. Of course, you might have already scalped out and gotten stopped out. But if you had a runner, that was one you might hold on to. But I wouldn't enter again right there, even though it worked. And again, you notice you get the little, you got a leg up into it. Then you get another leg up and then it sails off. Uh, so that goes back to this trade. You got a leg up and then it drops down. Of course, this one's a little bit different because it dropped lower right here. But notice how it takes off again. So it's similar to that pattern, but that's not a real good repeat pattern. So if you skip that one, no problem. I, I, I didn't like marking that one. I, I did go ahead and mark it green, but I wasn't crazy about it. Anyway, we got a break here, a couple legs up, 
and then look what happens you got your new high first entry long a second leg down second entry long it turns down right there that pattern's been working like clockwork so you can't argue with it just take it and you could have ridden this all the way down here and you get a couple of more you get another turn down right off the trend line here but you had an overshoot so i'm a little bit leery of that one this is really your signal bar it's a first entry uh, you get a little jog back there but again you're already down here into the lower side same thing here another big bearish bar and it's your first break so you're probably going to move to a new low you might consider this one because your trend's working pretty well now this is a really bearish bar so what you might do is let prices break below this bar and then drop a limit order back where you would have gone short on this one one tick below the this bar and your stop goes there if you had done that would have if you'd have done that it would have worked i'm not crazy about it um, i think you're better off just to wait it, really if you traded this properly you would probably still be managing a runner from this entry up here simple as that and then you don't have to take on this risk of entering after a pretty good move down but that is that does still fit the criteria it's just a first entry which i prefer second entries but you know when you get a really tight range like that or trend, uh, trend channel like that you don't get second entries because there's not room so once you start to see a real tight move like that if you get a good signal bar you did in a first entry you just about have to take them same thing going up here you never got any second entries but you never even really got any pullbacks to the trend line except for here and here and that and both of those the bars are so big you really can't justify those and this is really the signal bar here so you definitely can't justify it you could treat this one well, i'll wait till we get there we'll talk about it in a minute but anyway you might go short there and then we we jog up here and start going sideways just stay out of that it's not wise to enter that you usually just get whipsawed and then when it drops lower we already talked about the, about that we the, the overall bias was down and even though we traded up into that and we're going sideways we could start down again so i wasn't crazy about it we'll mark it green and then notice what happens you push up and you just start going sideways again there is a failed second entry short here you're moving up first entry and then you go a little higher but because this is going sideways i really don't think you want to enter there it would have you could have entered there and it would have worked but you don't know that you want to follow the rules and the rules say there's not enough room to scalp out there so just skip it and then finally you get a breakout pullback and a second entry long on top of that notice we break out move down first entry move down second entry and you get a nice bullish bar right here that closes back outside here on a second entry so i like going long there and again if you go long here you probably get a runner and you could ride that all the way up again we do come back to the trend line right here and of course we got three bars stacked up one of those is pretty much a doji it does bounce off the trend line but look how big that bar is i just don't see any way you can enter that safely now you might could argue for this one because notice those matching lows that's basically a little double bottom so you could count that as a new low then you're moving up first entry and then you get a second entry short and it's failed but we're so far away from the ema We've been away from it since way down here around 9 30 and this is almost almost 10 o'clock so uh we've been away from the ema a long time and but it is off that trend line so you could probably argue for that to be green if you want to be aggressive i say skip it but we'll give it a green one what the heck there are some people that like to be aggressive so and that is a new low and you get another uh, i was thinking there was another failed second entry short but it's yeah here it is way up here and you definitely don't want to be going long up there and this is so far away from the ema and we've been so far away and then you get the overshoot and so you get that lower high right there i like that i mean the odds are we're coming back to the at least to the trend line here and probably even the ema with that overshoot and you could catch the eye of the day here and get a nice run you really do get a pretty nice run down from maybe 
30, 26, 39, 26, 40, all the way down. You probably would have exited right in here. So that's eight or nine points that you could have picked up on that one move. And then, of course, you get your reversal pattern here. Notice the new high, first entry, moving down, and there's your second entry long. And that one actually pushed through the EMA. So that's a more natural reversal type pattern. So it goes short right there, and you get another nice move, too. And then, again, that's your first break. Notice how we're going sideways there, lots of stems. Just stay out of that. Same thing here. We come back down here. We tried to go low once, twice, three times, four times. And so we're probably going to bounce here. So you might look at this like it's congestion, but we're a little bit away from the EMA. So the odds are we're going back this direction if we're going to break out. And sure enough, that's exactly where it goes. So I'm a, I kind of like that one. It's a second entry too. Notice that high pullback first entry, pullback second entry. So it's a second entry long. It's a double test of this level. It's, I mean, we tested that support level multiple times nothing could close below that odds are we're going higher here you don't know how high but you're probably going at least back to the ema and you're probably going to go back and you're probably going to at least get some kind of little trend to the upside depending on you know you just have to kind of see how that trend plays out but we move up and then you get a little two-legged correction a lot of times that's the center of the pattern so i would look for at least measured move right there and that puts you right up here and you can see that's about what we got I went ahead and marked this one I wasn't crazy about it but it's that pattern again you got a new low first entry short second entry short and we don't really have a close outside this trend line just yet so um, we could be going much higher and this one gets just it this one gets well it gets more than enough but it's a little iffy at first it looks like it's probably not going to get a scalper's profit but it does get a pretty nice profit so i marked it it's been that pattern that patterns work consistently and so i marked it and it worked and then we turn down you really just don't get a chance to enter that one there's a lower high here, but you can't go short right into that. Even though it worked, just forget that. You don't have enough room there. And guess what happens? There's your pattern again. Your new low, first entry short, second entry short, and it is bouncing off strong support. You really could go long here, but everything's still below the EMA. There's a little bit of resistance there, so this was the better one to wait on. And again, it was an easy scalp. You could, like I said, you could argue to go long right there. I'm not crazy about it, but you could argue for it. And of course we come back and you don't really get a setup here. You push up and then it turns back down. You just don't get a chance to enter either one of those. And then guess what? There comes our pattern again. We bounce off that low. There's a lower high and then failed second entry short. And you still got plenty of room before you get back up to here. This is obviously a range now. And so at that point, you really probably could have taken that trade right there too. I'll at least mark it green. It's right into the EMA. So I was a little bit leery of it, but you know, when you're going sideways, that doesn't really matter because you're going to flip back and forth to both sides of the EMA. So just remember that whenever you're going sideways and you're flipping back and forth above and below the EMA, it's not as big a deal to go long or short into it. So you still need to be a little, I mean, it's something you want to always be aware of, but it's not as big a deal. So, but the better trade was to wait here. You still had room to get out and you notice how it starts, notice how it still gets resistance there. It ends up pushing on, but you don't know that it's going to do that. And so you got to be very careful with that. And this was a little breakout pullback long, but it's right there at that resistance. I say, skip it. And then we push up and you, you, Get a little close outside, a new high, but you never get a lower high here and then look at it go. And I don't see any way to enter either one of those. You might have entered here. It's a second entry right at the EMA, but it made a little bit higher high. But even though it did, that's still two legs back to the EMA. So you might even say, hey, let's go long right here. But you really didn't have any proof where the trend line was down here or anything and so it's just a shot in the dark so for that reason i'm not going to make it anything more than green and i really think you're better off to skip it 
but notice it's a huge nice move but sometimes those happen and you can't do anything but watch them so then you're coming back you bounce you get a lower high with a big bearish bar i like that one because this just seemed out of place here so it didn't surprise me that we come back and kind of start over there but notice it makes a new low then moves up first entry moves up second entry and you get a failed second that failed second entry short again uh, we sh i showed you where the target was it was up here where the highs were to the tick so you still had a lot of room to go that pattern's been very consistent if you'd drawn this trend line off these two swings here and drug it down it fits or if you had it off here now you'd take it up so you figure you got plenty of room before you get back to that we don't end up getting back up there but we still make a nice move but this pattern has been money there is a double top there but at this point we're making higher highs and higher lows even with this crazy stuff here notice that we made a higher high higher low and so we're probably going to at least make a new high plus if this trend line's valid we may have a long way to go so i like that one and then uh, just because that pattern has been so good good to us the last few days you just can't ignore it but then we kind of go sideways and that takes us into two o'clock hour and that was it so it wasn't there weren't as many trades today but there were some good trades and there were a lot of runners today and so it was a pretty good day overall I, I kind of enjoyed today you had to be really patient this morning like usual seems like lately you know usually the mornings are the best times but it seems like lately you got to be patient in the morning to wait for something to happen i don't know what the deal is this market is really strange right now uh, i don't know if you can ever call the market strange because it has a mind of its own and it does its own thing and nothing should ever surprise you but it just is not acting its normal self so the only word i can come up to describe it is that the market's just strange right now why we don't care all we all we want to do is follow the price action and let the, the price action tell us what we want to do and where it's let it go where it's going to go and, and it'll always show its hand sometimes it's more obvious than others but it generally will show its hand and that's when you jump on it and take advantage of it and lately it's been that that failed second entry at the highs or the lows that really has been good to us so uh doesn't mean it can't fail or that it won't fail but more times than not it's probably going to work and so just keep an eye out for that but it's got to be in the right context the right places and so keep that i mean if the market's steadily tread, trading up and you get a failed second entry to the upside doesn't mean you always go short you want it to you know you want everything to have played out like getting short here you wanted to know that this probably played out and you wanted that reversal pattern in a trap right there before you want to go short i probably wouldn't have taken this short if this let me back out a little bit if this failed second entry hadn't been a true reversal pattern where it shot through the ema without any resist, uh, support right there notice how you didn't get any support at the ema it just shot right through that's not a good sign you almost always get support off that and uh, when you're under it, you almost always get resistance off of it if you want to be going short. And we didn't get any res uh, support there at all. So that's a true reversal type pattern. Now, if it would have given you a failed second entry long, you know, right here in front of the EMA or something, I'd probably say skip it because this has been too bullish. But the fact that we had that overshoot and you got a true reversal pattern, I like that one. So hopefully that makes sense. But anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. This is going to wrap up our week. Seems like it went by really quick. Seems like I just came back and we've only been here a day or so. But um, no, this week's gone. This month's almost gone. We're about to start a new month as well. By the time we come back, I think we'll be in April. So what is Monday? Yes, Monday will be the, or the 2nd of April. So we'll be starting a new month. I don't know where the time's going or where the market's going either lately. But uh We'll continue to go with it. But anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. Hope everybody has a great uh, extended weekend. Enjoy the, the break. It's always nice to get away from it and come back with a clear mind and start fresh. And it's usually a good feeling. And especially if you've been struggling a little bit, a, a break is good for you. People feel like when they're struggling that I got to stick with it. I got to work harder. But sometimes a break is what you need. And 
I mean, that brings up a point I probably haven't talked about it lately. I'll say this real quick before I wrap it up. Anytime you start off trading and you're having a bad day, get up and walk around. Don't just keep going at it because a lot of times you'll just, once you're shaking up, you just cannot get it right. But if you walk away and take a 15-minute break, go get you a, a snack or, you know, I hate to say it, if you're a smoker, go get you, go have you a smoke. But I, I don't condone smoking, so I hate to even say that. But whatever your thing is, just if nothing else, just get up and take a walk around the block or walk around the house or the office or wherever you're trading at. And just take a break for 15 minutes. Go chat with somebody for a few minutes. Get your mind off of it and then come back and sit down again and reevaluate your chart and you'd be surprised how sometimes it'll just be crystal clear when you come back when you before you couldn't make heads or tails of it so that is always a good thing to take a break in trading so working harder uh, is good but it's not always the right thing to do you know if you've been at it and you've been going at it hard take a break don't be afraid the market will always be here another day and I cause, and I say this because I can remember how anxious I was. I hated when the weekends came because I wanted to trade. But now I, you know, I relish those longer weekends and stuff because you need a break from it. And you'll get there one day. But if the market's still real exciting and you can't, you hate to see the weekend come, that's not necessarily a good thing because it means if you're still having excitement, then you're not, you're probably not there yet. If you still get excited about wins and you get down and out about losses. That's telling you emotionally you're too attached to it, and you'll probably not have a lot of success if you're emotionally, emotionally attached to it. So you need to get to where it's almost boring for you, and that's when that's when things will probably get easier. And, I mean, this is a job, and it feels like a job at times. Although it's a job I love, don't get me wrong, I love the market, and that's why I do it. I love, that's why I'm doing this video right now, because I love everything about trading, but it's still a job. And it does get boring sometimes. So, and this is one of the things I do to help kind of keep the boredom away too. There's multiple reasons I do this, but that's another one of them. So anyway, I didn't mean to get into all that. I'm ready to start my weekend. Hopefully you are too. I'm done for today, but we'll be back again to do it Monday. This is Matt with PriceActionTradingSystem.com and we'll see you next time.